What is happening? <laughs> People are just arriving just now for an urban night walk along a route that is part of a £115 million regeneration project. We even have skateboarders and that's just one of the ways that you can, of course, put forward as to how you would like to use this space. But to tell us a little bit more about the project, it's yourself, Derek Dunsire from Glasgow City Council and Stephen O'Malley from Civic Engineers. Now, firstly, Derek, can you tell us which areas it will be that will be transformed? Well, we've got about 17 streets across the city centre, so we're looking initially on Argyll Street, North Hanover Street, Cathedral Street, but then tail end of this year we start looking at Broomy Law, Clyde Street, moving on to George Street, for example. And what exactly is being done to these areas? Uh, in essence, we're reimagining the streetscape, we're recalibrating the streetscape and putting people first. So it's all about connectivity and movement for cyclists and pedestrians. And specifically, there's going to be Wi Fi, lighting, green space. In, yes, indeed. Um, Sockyall Street West is already on site. And um, it's a uh, better footways, there's street trees going in, and then, as you say, the Wi Fi and the cycling infrastructure. Certainly a lot more urban for some of yeah, these definitely, guys. Definitely, definitely. A lot now, more fun for them. A lot more fun, it seems. Now, um, what, why is this important for Glasgow to have these spaces regenerated? It's all about experience and it's all about maintaining the sort of economic vitality of the city centre. So we're pretty strong already on retail and leisure and we just need to maintain that for the people that visit and live. And I hear you're the man to ask about when it will be delivered. It's going to be fully delivered by 2024, so it's quite a tight schedule for the next six, seven years. Well, best of luck. I'm sure we'll all have our eyes Thank peeled you. on that. Now, Stephen, uh, you've delivered similar projects to this in the past, haven't you? We have uh, around the UK in South Manchester, Leeds and London. And what was the impact on these areas afterwards? Well, uh, none, of, none of them have been on the scale that the Glasgow scheme is coming forward with, but what we have seen is some really meaningful uh, positive change in terms of footfall, in terms of activity and in terms of uh, visitor numbers and, and uh, getting sh shops and businesses engaged with the streets and the communities. Now, in addition to being a very pedestrian area in Glasgow, the city centre, obviously, we have a number of drivers. So how will they be affected? Is this something that penalises drivers? Well, no. What we're interested in is creating uh, the vitality of the city and making much more competitive and you've got to remember that all drivers are pedestrians in the first instance and what we want to do is encourage them to get out of their cars and spend time on foot in the streets but it's not just drivers of course it's about uh, vulnerable pedestrians and people with other forms of uh, limitation not coming into the city at the moment get that's them in. wonderful thank you very much Stephen thank you very much Derek it certainly is an exciting time for Glasgow they are going through a period of public consultation so there's